everybody, just a quick video here to introduce a brand new product for you in the audio category. It is the Sennheiser MKE 200 Shotgun Hot Shoe Mic. What makes this product fantastic is how everything you need is fully integrated. First off, the shock absorption is internal, so no more futzing with flimsy external shock absorption. Wind buffering is also built into the housing, but for extra windy conditions, they have included a pretty well-made dead cat. Additionally, you don't have to worry about dying batteries or accidentally leaving your mic off. There's no power required for this microphone. All right, now, the biggest question, of course, that everyone wants to know is how good does the MKE 200 sound? Well, we're gonna do two tests. First one is outside, where there's typically a lot of construction noise, wind noise, traffic, all sorts of things. Uh, so we wanna see how good the polar pattern is on this mic and compare it to the camera mic. We're also gonna go back inside uh, and uh, just test for audio quality uh, without any sort of distracting uh, ambient noise. So to do these tests, uh, I'm going to read some short passages here. This one from Andre Tarkovsky's Sculpting in Time. Short passage, bear with me, let's get going. The point out is to pick out and join together the bits of sequential fact, knowing, seeing, and hearing precisely what lies between them and what kind of chain holds them together. That is cinema. The point is to pick out and join together the bits of sequential fact, knowing, seeing, and hearing precisely what lies between them and what kind of chain holds them together. That is cinema. Okay, back inside. Now we're going to test out the audio fidelity without all the distracting background noise. And for this, we are going to be reading a passage from Hitchcock Truffaut. Okay, so this is Hitchcock speaking. While we're on the subject of the camera flow and of cutting from one shot to another, I'd like to mention what I regard as a fundamental rule. When a character who has been seated stands up to walk around a room, I will never change the angle or move the camera back. While we're on the subject of camera flow and of cutting from one shot to another, I'd like to mention what I regard as a fundamental rule. When a character who has been seated stands up to walk around a room, I will never change the angle or move the camera back. Overall, I really love this new microphone. It's going to make a world of difference for grab and go vloggers, especially because it works not just on any camera, but also any mobile device as well. And that's it. Thanks guys so much for watching. As always, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and go out there, have some fun and happy shooting. Peace.